All right, getting started a couple minutes early because I can and I want to and I'm excited because we're doing something just a little bit different to start today. Uh, happy Friday to everybody. Uh, looking forward to the weekend. Hope you guys had a good week and I hope you're also looking forward to your weekends. But uh, to start with, I know we usually do requests in the chat, but uh, we're going to do a deep dive on VRX because I received a request to do a video breakdown about a week ago from Josh in the comments section of my DFS video. Happy Friday, Neil. Hope you're having a good one, sir. Looking handsome as ever today. And uh, so, yeah, I got this request from Josh to do VRX and Niox. Still planning to do Niox, but I wanted to do this VRX video uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, they had some recent FUD come about the team, and I wanted to kind of go over that. And uh, I don't think I could cram it into a two minute video. So, well, let's do a full deep dive here on Virox, the Virox AI, the VRX token here, and see what's going on. Now, Etherscan shows 1,500 holders, um, you know, usual information we look for, white paper, GitHub, uh, Medium, Twitter. Uh, we jump over to Twitter, they've got over 35,000 followers. And, uh, you know, some some posts here from folks who support the project. The usual Twitter metrics show. Uh, okay, net sentiment. Over the past week, over a thousand tweets, some engagement. Uh, project Medium only has five articles. So uh, you can check all those out. They're pretty quick reads. Now, here's where things get interesting, right? And this is where all the FUDs come from. The team is listed right on their main site here. <clears throat> and so we've got five team members listed. Uh, the project manager who's really uh, the CEO of the whole thing. Uh, I'm not sure. Nikhil, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, so we can check out their... LinkedIn page and uh, we've got a business analyst here here's her page and we've got uh, the AI developer listed here and here's his page so if we go back and look at our founders page here um, he's listed as <clears throat> a contributor to Quite a few different things here. Um, his skill endorsements are only from one person and they're from. Mm -hmm. And uh, come back up here and we just take a look at his job history, right? We have this Greyhound Tech, uh, Imobi Craft, Raycosoft. So we'll dive into each of those real quick in just a minute. But uh, the first thing that really uh, threw me off was that uh, their their AI dev, which would be their back end, you know, probably, you know, next to the CEO, one of the most important contributing members of the team, uh, has no mention of the project on his profile. And uh, if we look at his activity here, he doesn't mention it anywhere here outside of he liked her post. So, okay. We'll, we'll push that aside, right? Because he works at Godric's here with both of them. She's a director. And he's the CEO. So maybe Godrix is, this is where I was thinking, uh, Godrix is the uh, developer and 
Virox AI is just one of the products they're developing. So I reached out to some folks on their Telegram and just wasn't really getting the feedback I wanted. So I started diving into these here, these <laughs> previous jobs. So the first one we can take a look at is Godrex here. Uh, do I have it open? No. All right, we'll open it here. We jump into the Godrex site, and here's what you get. Don't worry, they're working on something real cool, okay? And uh, if anybody's watching that is a VRX fan or uh, VRX holder and wants to reach out to their team to have them come into the chat and maybe respond to some of this, I completely welcome it. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to give you guys my findings here. So Godrix is nothing they have a facebook page as well for godrix but uh on it is pretty much just posts like this just external articles nothing concrete about what godrix actually is or does right so okay it's a product under development maybe moving on we took a look at Recosoft. here's Recosoft. Click the R team button on their site, and you get this. Why I say, old chap, that is spiffing off his nut arse. Pear-shaped plaster, Jeffrey Bodge, Barney, some dodgy. Some dodgy indeed. Rako soft. Some dodgy indeed. Moving on. Let's take a look at iMobicraft, because I haven't actually had a chance to look at this one yet. I've looked at Greyhound already, and oh, there's some good stuff there. But iMobicraft, oh, maybe not. Maybe we can't look at iMobicraft because it doesn't exist. Let me go back on her page because she's the exact. No, nothing. Okay. So iMobicraft, I don't know. Maybe we can do a quick search. Hmm. Crusher crushing screening equipment. Uh, best IT. Poor customer service. Uh, yeah, so not a lot to go on the uh, iMobi craft there. <clears throat> Moving on, we take a look at that Greyhound tech here, right? And, uh,. You know, despite having 16 employees, only a few of them are actually available to view. And then if we look at the actual site here, <laughs> right? Nothing sketchy about that, but going further, if you close it, they redirect you to the Greyhound like bus lines app <laughs> in the Play Google Store, right? <laughs> so they're trying to make some kind of sketchy connection to that, which they obviously have no association with Greyhound Lines or Greyhound Lines Inc. Uh, so there you go for that one. Now the AI dev his profile is a little different. Um, I also took a peek at her. Where is she? There she is. I took a look at their, you know, their endorsements. And then you can do a quick look through these profiles as well. But, yeah, there's just this whole project. Which I'd spend a lot of time on. Uh, pretty sketchy to me. And pretty scammy feeling to me. Uh, yeah, in fact, it 100% feels like a scam to me, honestly. So, howdy. Namoridi. 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thanks, appreciate that. Much love back to India. So yeah, the Virunx token, I uh, I won't be doing a video on now. <laughs> uh, they have a white paper. They have some other platform pitches and some other docs available. But uh, yeah. Uh, oof. Not sure I'm going to try to pronounce that one. I don't want to butcher it on you. But yeah, the, the FUD around the team, I think, is warranted. The FUD around their projects and their previous projects, I feel, is warranted as well. So... That's a deep dive for you right there. When will BTC crash to 20k? <laughs> no BTC on this channel, brother. This is the altcoins. So yeah, in my opinion, avoid VRX. And like I said, I I, I welcome the their team to come challenge me. But uh until they can show otherwise, I feel uh, my opinion is warranted. So, that's your VRX deep dive there. Quick, uh, what was that? Maybe 10, 15 minutes? Not too heavy, right? But, I think you guys can uh, see where I'm coming from. Any low cap but legit gem altcoin. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's dive into some good stuff here and see what we got. So, moving on, we can jump into our trending here, or we can just dive right into perhaps some token sniffer and see. Let's do some token sniffer all day. Unless you guys have uh, on the Safe Moon hype. Actually, I haven't had a chance to even look at Safe Moon, so I don't know anything about it um we can we can look at that first if you'd like i'm i'm all for it do you know the the call for it safe moon or isn't it bsc safe moon protocol here we go Auto generating liquidity protocol, static farming by holding. Okay. You know, 43,000 followers plus. Sure, I'll take your cookies. They've burned how much? Trillion? Is that a T? Where? Oh, here, live chart. Seen a pump since uh, yesterday, huh? Went live back on March 4th. Your steady steps up here, huh? It's blowing up. You just don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know a thing about it, like I said. Community-driven token, fair launch. Okay, automatic LP. Every trade contributes towards the liquidity lock. Or a lot of safe copycats, huh? We got a roadmap here to Q4. No medium. Here's a BSC scan. I'll take a peek at that here. Holy cow. Almost 185,000 holders. We have here, what is this, a quad? Thousands, millions, billions, trillions. Yeah, quad. Okay. 
Oh, we do have a, a medium here. Okay. Medium. Only three articles. Got a loyal fan base. Hmm. DSLA, Kin, and Tower. We can dive into those after uh, Safe Moon here. No problem. Give me one sec, Darwesh. Here's our holder chart for you visual folks real quick. This is the burn address right here, huh? Bondly. I actually already have uh, videos on Bondly and Tower. But uh, we can take a peek. Is it get as well? The one repo. Just the contract. Do they have the uh, liquidity lock information somewhere? Okay. No white paper. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Nothing on the team. So, let's move on. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do. Let's do this. What do I even? just safe moon okay there you go I'll do a hashtag too just in case good sentiment 1500 tweets not too much engagement oh here you go 88,000 strong engagement good sentiment Blowing up on Twitter, huh? Medium articles are short, so light night reading. Check it out if you're interested. Cool. Safe moon. Yeah, like I said, look for that liquidity lock information. I just don't see it. All right, moving on. We wanted to get into what were we doing after this one? Safe Moon DSLA. All right. Close some stuff here. All right. Almost 7,000 holders with 7 billion DSLA. No to token burn here listed. I don't see any zero addresses. So here's a medium. Got a LinkedIn page as well. I need to get. All right. Medium has recently updated. First post coming. Let's see. Stactical. So, lots of information here in the medium. Uh, seven employees on the 
project page on LinkedIn. GitHub has 14 repos. Twitter, almost 8,000 followers. Decentralized alternative to SLA contracts, huh? Hedge against third party infrastructure risk and get paid for protecting peers. Interesting. Oops, didn't mean to click that. Join December 2015. Here we got a white paper and a quick deck. White paper is 29 pages. And uh, quick deck's only 10, so light night reading. Stupid cookies. DSLA is the utility token. Feature tiers. Roadmap here on this site into Q4 2021. There's a site for their service level agreements. I'm not going to connect my mask right now, but you can connect your mask and just check out the UI here. Seems pretty uh, user friendly. Some partners listed, teams listed on the main site, but no LinkedIn profiles connected. We already looked at the LinkedIn page though, so. And uh, plenty of information down here as well. We already looked at the Git, so do our quick metric search here, and then we'll move on to the next one. Come on. We got uh, 3,700 plus tweets, good engagement, decent sentiment over the past week. Cool. DSLA. All right. We'll look at Kin. Mm. Where can I find Kin? We'll jump into Tower first. Actually, here we'll I'll check Twitter real quick. Kin, Kin Army, Kin, Kin, Kin. Is there like an official page? Kin Army, Kin to a dollar, Kin Soul. Oh, here we go. Kin Ecosystem. 30,000 plus followers. Kin.org. Omi or Earn? Pump and dump? I don't think so. At least not in the case of Omi. Um, I have a video out on Earn, but I'm struggling to recall the details right now. But we can take a peek here. Let me let me finish uh, going over Kin here, and then we'll take a quick peek at Tower and Bondley. Oh, and Kylan. All right, Kin. Okay. Build with Kin. Kin, its own blockchain. Must be. Big supply of one, two, three, one, two, three, 
One, two, three. I don't know, a lot. I lost count of the zeros there. Blog, performance report, recent posts, older posts on their medium. So I'll put information here. Um, whoops. Developer docs. Let's see. These are kin apps. Kin Foundation Falcon. Cree. Where's the team? Oh, I'm right here. Eighteen employees on the project page. Oops, wrong button. So you can check their profiles out. Hmm. And migrate it to the Solana blockchain, okay. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, do your homework. Plenty of information here. Um, I didn't see anything specifically called out as a white paper, per se. About us, developer stats, blah, blah, blah. Uh, transparency report that's 25 pages uh, token migration can wallet developers yeah so check out the medium check out the team but cool thanks for the call out on kin I had not heard of this one before I'm definitely gonna check it out later we can do our quick uh, metrics check here Over, well, just about 17,000 tweets. Good engagement, good sentiment. <laughs> yeah. Check it out, Ken. All right, we had Ken, and then you wanna, we'll do just a quick peek on Tower, because like I said, I got a video on it. <clears throat> It's from uh, Animoca Brands. Come on. Here we go. Uh, there we go. So, <clears throat> they've got a bunch of other games as well. So, for Tower specifically, it's Crazy Defense Heroes. It's a tower defense game. NFTs so you can check it out um, if you want information on Animoca um, let's see here I thought they had a link on their website to them maybe not so here's Animoca Brands uh, they've got a couple of different game projects right now. So, and you can check out their team here on LinkedIn. They've got 71 employees on their page. Not all of them are viewable, but quite a few. And then we can just do our quick search here. 
So 2.7K, good engagement. Uh, not too much in regards to sentiment over the past week. But good overall. Um, we didn't look at the ether scan, but I can show you that real quick. 2,900 holders, and there is 10 billion available. No token burn that is listed. They got a medium as well as a get. All right, moving on. We wanted to see Bondly. Sure. All right. For Bondly, we have 22,000 plus holders and a current supply of approaching 1 billion. I don't think it grows though. So uh, I think that's the fixed supply. Check out their website. They've got 30,000 plus followers. NFT collections. Uh, roadmap into Q4 of 2021. And then they have a more specific Q2 roadmap laid out inside their medium. NFT swap, uh, bond swap, bond dex. They have some future projects. Uh, they've collaborated with Tory Lanes, Logan Paul, and Pellick. So, trying to get down to. Let's see. Here you go. Teams listed on the page as well. And, uh, yeah. You can jump into their medium. Lots of information in here as well. Recently updated. It goes back pretty far. September 2020. Do our metrics real quick. Right now it's only about 5 o'clock for me. Yeah, they've got uh, more future collab announcements, supposedly. So, uh, you know, keep your eye on their medium. But yeah, Bonley. NFTs and more. All right, after Bonley, we wanted to check out Kylan. Oops. Kylan Network. Close Bondly stuff here. Oops. Close Kin here. I think we've taken a peek at Kylan on stream before, but I think it was a couple of weeks ago. So let's check it out. Got ourselves a LinkedIn page, Medium, GitHub, white paper. Might be more updated one on the site though, so I'll wait to see if it's there. And we got 11,000 plus holders and 1 billion Kyle available. No burn address listed, and I don't see any zero addresses. Let's see in the top holders. Anything? No. 
Okay. So we got eight employees on LinkedIn. And a recently updated medium goes back to, let's see. Pretty far. There we go. Intro post September 2nd, 2020. Uh, 15 repos with uh, four profiles here. Oh, we already saw the LinkedIn, so. Uh, 37,000 plus followers. Here we got uh, tokenomics white paper. So we got project wiki, one page here, a white paper. Some partners here. Roadmap only. Oh, wait. There we go. India Q3 2021. do our uh, metric search here almost 2,000 tweets some good engagement good net sentiment all right so that was Kyle from Kylan um, we can look at oh you want to look at Omi again sure I think this is like the third or fourth stream in a row I've looked at Omi at this point. Uh, let's just do it from CoinGecko. So, Omi's about NFTs as well. 55,000 plus followers. Um, they have. Uh, some licensed digital collectibles from uh, like DC Comics and Cartoon Network and some other ones. So Luxo, yeah, we I think we've looked at Luxo on stream before as well, maybe two weeks ago, I want to say. Was my favorite token at current I can think of that can go to a 10x and more. Oh man, I'm trying to keep my channel mostly focused on just the information. I don't want to, I don't want to lead people down <laughs> the wrong, uh, the wrong path and be one of those YouTubers who's claiming this coin or that coin is going to do a 10x in the next couple of weeks. So, I'm going to try and avoid doing that for you guys because I just don't want to be another YouTuber that's doing that. Um, I can tell you projects I definitely am excited about, but as far as what I think can go for a 10x and more, you know, it's, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> So I, I don't know what could go for 10x and more. Reef? Sure, we can take a peek at Reef. Let's uh, finish up Echo Me here. Uh, they have a medium. Small French project. Um, plenty of info in the... Medium here goes back pretty far. Um, so you can check it out, do your homework. 
Uh, white paper is available. It is 33 pages. And we can do our metric search here. Just to see, we got 33,000 plus tweets, strong engagement, and good sentiment over the past week. So, some folks are excited about OMI. All right, moving on, we wanted to look at Earn as well, I think, after that. Eternity Chain. My most favorite five tokens. Uh, there's so many, dude. There's too many. I don't have a top five. Sorry. I don't know why I'm looking at the contract here. <clears throat> getting, getting off track. All right, medium, white paper. Medium's got plenty of articles in it. It goes back, uh, let's see. Here you go. February 10th. Holy cow, Darwash. I don't know if I'm going to have time to cover all of these, but I'll try to get through as many as I can. <laughs> Coming to play today, I like it. Uh, looks like that don't exist. Uh, 61,000 plus followers. Uh, go back here. It's NFT collections. You can check them out. Yeah, maybe you can't. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on the white paper situation. It might just redirect to a Medium article here right now. I thought they had one before, but uh, maybe I was mistaken. Oh, yeah. So maybe they're working on a new one. Uh, let's do our metric search here. Earn. 11,000 plus tweets, pretty good engagement, decent sentiment over the past week. Uh, I think the team was Anon on this one too, or at least I don't recall being able to find anything on the team based on the medium. I don't think there's a get either, so there you go for that. Uh, what was next after earn? Da, 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 da. Luxo. Okay. Luxo. Do I have a paid subscription to Talkwalker? No. No. I use uh, an in house. Uh, elk stack with some Grafana to do my own metric searching. So, but I use this because it's easy to bring up and there's a free search for everybody. So, moving on. Let's bring up the stuff here. Oops. So we got 15,000 plus followers. What do you think? 
call it. Yeah, I'm interested to see what uh, this summer brings as uh, COVID kind of relaxes, especially in the United States. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen if people are going to be uh, excited to be able to go out post-vaccination and won't be investing as hard anymore. We'll see. We'll see how much steam crypto gains here through uh, Q2. But, I mean, we're, I'm not sure if we passed today the, the $2 trillion market cap or not, but... I mean, nearly doubling in market cap in, was it, three months or so? It's pretty impressive. So, obviously crypto is not going anywhere, but the stronger projects will definitely survive uh, any bear markets. So... Blockchain infrastructure. Yeah, I remember this site. I remember the pink chain. I like this site. White paper available. It is 146 pages. That is impressive. I think that is the record currently, if I recall correctly. <laughs> my favorite upcoming token I'm waiting for um again there's so many like IDOs and ICOs coming up that mostly I can't participate in but uh what's my favorite one <sighs> yeah I honestly can't say As, again it's like asking me what my favorite my favorite current altcoin is it's just the space is uh, if you refine <laughs> refine it a little bit your question in regards to what space perhaps a token might be in and then i might be able to give you a clear answer but a broad favorite upcoming token of all tokens i just i'm not going to be able to give you an answer or at least a clear one <laughs> all right what time is it 505 Ugh. let's see uh luxo let's finish up luxo here i didn't do too much into it i apologize to uh kind but uh oh you know what that's because that's not the ticker it's l y x e isn't it so you got almost 2,000 tweets, some good engagement, and uh, good sentiment over the past week for that one. So let's move on to Reef here. So what? Come back tomorrow, and we'll we'll do another deeper dive on Luxo. I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to get through RSR and Crow and Aria 20 here and Urca. Oh, man, so many. See what I mean? I it's crazy. I I was trying to work. I ha actually have been working on a video for RSR for a little while now. I just it's hard to get the script right on that one and and cram it all into two minutes plus ish so maybe we'll just do <clears throat> another deep dive into a coin on stream maybe we'll do that for rsr um next week sometime uh, all right reef got yourself a get here Uh, 10 repos, and uh, you got uh, some public members here. You got a blog. And uh, this is going to be 
So this is get doc, get doc. Um, logs recently updated. Articles going back to. Let's see. Come on, how far back are we going? Pretty far here. Quite a ways. So plenty of information in the in the medium there to get you started. And then uh, let's see where. Let me check out their Twitter. I don't think we did. Uh, roadmap here. Into Q3 of 2021 SDK mobile app reef bridge interesting let's go down here in LinkedIn page and a Twitter uh, LinkedIn we got 14 people on the page and on Twitter, we have 93,000 plus followers. And if we do our metrics here, we got 16.7 thousand plus tweets, some engagement, and uh, it's a decent sentiment over the past week. INXT from Justin. I actually already have a video out on INXT, um, and I don't think we'll have time. I only got a few more minutes left here, so um, come hit me up tomorrow, and we'll, or not tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow. I don't think I'll be doing a stream tomorrow. Uh, let me double check my schedule here. No, nope, don't think I'll be doing a stream tomorrow. But on uh, Monday, hit me up on Monday. We'll be doing a stream then. Hoping to come back at it five days a week with the stream again. So let's see here what else we can cover in the last few minutes. Let's do one more. Close all this. All right, we had Reef and then, uh, all right, Aria 20. We'll check that one because that's a low cap. Twitter. Let's see. Got ourselves a little volcano shape here coming down. This launched when? Back in November. Steady incline and then a big push here in March. 911 holders, 200 million available. Uh, no burn address listed. Let's look at the holders here, see if there's one. Uh, yeah, they did a good job labeling all of the uh, wallets. I always appreciate that. Uh, not seeing any burn addresses, so let's move on. We got ourselves a medium, a get, a LinkedIn, white paper, all the good stuff. All right, medium. I'm going to click the team here. Last updated January 28th. My child is crying. Let's see. First article coming back in 2018. Uh, Git has 33 repos and three people available. And then their LinkedIn page has 37 employees listed. Twitter, we have almost 3,800 followers. And uh, sure, I'll take the cookies. Let's see. Here's our change. Blah, 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 blah. NFT, valuable objects with an authentic, secure digital representation. So. 
turn it in like real world assets into NFTs. Well, do your homework. Passports for things, huh? So essentially, you can pay for a luxury product through the protocol and have an NFT that will secure you that product. Am I wording that correctly? One of their customers. Okay. Yeah, do your homework on this one, but it sounds pretty interesting. The token. Protocols are essential to a proper uh, enables economic incentives. Okay. You can check out the tokenomics here. Multi-chain token. Well. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, definitely do your homework. Check it out. But uh, sounds like an interesting project for sure. I'll definitely uh, do my night rating on it when I get some time. It seems like they got quite a bit of documentation here, so got an SDK available. So check out Aria. Let's do our uh, Twitter metrics here. Aria twenty. What do they do? A hashtag. Just want to see how how the people talk about it here. Anything to the moon. <laughs> Absolutely, brother. I hope all your bags moon. Always. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm not seeing a hashtag per se. So. Maybe we'll just we'll try the hashtag hashtag search here for hash hashtag Aria twenty. Not a lot there. No community. Interesting. Hmm. Do they have a uh a telegram? Anything like that? Members. Yeah, they got a telegram down here. Daddy, why are you still looking? Oh, <laughs> I'm just finishing up, sweetheart. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out on the stream. Giving me all your latest and greatest. Plenty to go over. Come hang out next week. I got plenty more time. And plenty more coins to see. So, wherever you are, have a good morning. Good evening, good afternoon. Hi, baby. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Much love, everyone.